How do you program a sliding head machine? Well, we're here at Dugard to hear from Andy about the programming software from Hamwa. So Andy, one of the big things about sliding head laves people sort of get a bit wary about is how to program them, how to get yeah. them up and running. So can you talk us through the software and how easy it is to actually program and get these up and running? Okay. So uh, as you say, traditionally sliding head, you would write your programs longhand. Um, so they're a little bit more um, intensive. You don't need a little bit more knowledge in order to do it. In order to kind of counter that or to assist people, Hanwha have released PG Editor. Um, and what this allows you to do is assemble programs very quickly and very easily. Um, so when you start up PG, this is the screen that you're going to get. You're going to want to do a new program, which is what we've got. And then if you go to code, we actually will fit for the customers these modules that we've written ourselves. And what you will do is select basically whatever you want to do for your part. So if, for instance, you had a 16mm um, tool holder machine, so something like an XD20, XD26, that's to start your program. Wherever you've got the stars, you just fill in the appropriate information. So you're going to want to select whatever program number you choose, tell it what bar diameter you're using, and the finish length of the part. You don't need to change anything else at all in there. And then if you were going to spot drill and drill, there you go, spot drill and drill. And again, all you need to do is you can change your tool number if you so wish. You can change your spindle speeds. Again, this is job dependent, material dependent, um, whatever the customer chooses to do. And then you just alter your values to suit the dimensions of the job you're doing. So what sort of feedback have you had from customers on this software? Um, generally speaking, they absolutely love it. Um, the reason being is they can assemble really quite complicated programs very, very quickly. Um, once you have a program assembled, if I just bring one in to save a bit of time, So you can just load your programs like that. Path one, path two. So it's head one and head two program. Then you can get a cycle time, as quick as that. So it's also very useful for if you're quoting jobs. It doesn't necessarily have to be the guy setting a job on a machine. If you're sat in the office and you need to know a fairly accurate cycle time for a part, and you have the ability just to throw a program together, you can you know, sequence a program out. It will give you a cycle time very quickly, and then you can work out, you know, whatever your hourly rate is, etc., and, uh, and it just makes life a little bit easier for people.